ISS Meridian, the first interstellar colonization ship sent from Earth to Tau Ceti. A giant ark filled with the best that humanity could offer. Most of the colonists were put in cryogenic hibernation. Only a handful stood watch and continued with the scientific research. Free from the constraints imposed on research on Earth, they developed many wonderful technologies. They even conquered death itself. They learned how to create life and turned themselves into monsters. The reign of terror and mad science on board the ship ended when one brave soldier, himself a part of another mad experiment, managed to break free and kill Professor Wagner. In a just universe, that soldier would be a hero. But we're not living in a just universe. And the worst neural damage is patched, Doctor. Good. Activate the visual cortex. Leave the rest of the brain blocked for now. Are you sure it's worth it, Doctor? The orders said... Stop it. I already told you that the extermination orders won't apply to this subject. K. Okay. Follow the light with your eyes. Now to the left. And to the right. Good. Put the whole brain to sleep. Can you hear me? Wake up. What? Who? I'm up here. Stand up. Careful. Go slowly. <sighs> You're still too weak, but you're gonna make it. Oh no, you're bleeding. Just a bit. You have to use the medichamber. Get in. First you're gonna tell me what the hell is going on. There's no time for questions. We have to move fast. Medication. Been there, now done I that. Can. It's so... If you stay, they'll lock you down for experiments, Healing like process. me. But I managed to hack down the medbot and woke you up. I can't give you orders, but I know how to get... Disable the lasers blocking the hallway. The terminal should accept your fingerprint now. What killed him? I did. He was standing too close to a power conduit from the laser blockade. Get his weapon. You'll need it. Sector C last. Access granted. Good. Now you have to go and turn on the main generator for this level. Soldiers are coming for us right now. I have to find a way to keep them busy. 
You have short-circuited the containment system. Just have those monstrosities out. We'll deal with them later. Now move to the generator. <laughs> How many damn zombies have you set free? Trapped. A few hundred. Maybe more. Why the hell? I told you. We need to slow down the soldiers. There's too many of them. You don't seem to have any problems with killing zombies. And it improved our odds. Yes, I know. 
follow me. That's all you're gonna say? Thanks for letting me out. You're welcome. We're not safe here, so I suggest we get the hell out of here. We should be safe here for now. The soldiers are sure that this part of the ship is empty. Why did they lock you up? We'll talk about that later. Now I have to check you. What? You're Kay Rayner, one of the best prototypes that came out of Meridian Research. You've got both physical and mental modifications and improvements. You're a super soldier. But according to your file, there's something wrong. You're dying. Bullshit. It's a slow but visible process. Your neural network is overloaded. You have more functions than your brain can handle. Bullshit. I feel all right. Right now, yes. But we have to do something about it. Your file says they've deactivated most of your functions. Look. I'll try to unlock one of the basic ones. Pick one. Your mental capacity should improve in time. I'll be checking you regularly. When your mental level improves, I can activate some of your abilities. You're more or less stable for now. Somebody like you. Another experiment. But we don't have time for this now. I'll tell you all about me later, but I suggest we concentrate on our survival for now. So what happened? I remember killing that asshole Wagner. And with his death, everything changed. Some of the automated system responses that he was blocking were activated. The core of the response military unit was awakened. They contacted the Earth and started to put everything in order which meant extermination of everything that Wagner had made, including us. They sent a unit to capture you at once. You must have lost your short-term memory when they used paralyzers on you. Including us? Why? I killed Wagner! Because we are the research subjects, and new orders concerning the subjects are exterminate or secure in cryostasis for later assessment. And even if the later assessment didn't mean death for you, removal of all your augmentation would turn you into a blind and possibly mad cripple. If you don't believe me, you can read the orders they have. I've mailed them to your reader. What now? We can't hope to survive against the crew on our own. So I suggest we find some help. I managed to find the location of Minikin's cryo chamber. You have to find him. Minikin? Michael Steele. A.K.A. Minikin. He used to be the chief engineer of the ESS Meridian. We need him. With his technical skills, we have a chance to survive. And I'm sure he'll be willing to help us. What's the plan? There's a human storage area in the ship. You'll have to get in there. What? Storage? It's a huge area filled with hundreds of crew members stored in hibernation chambers. Minikin's frozen there. You have to wake him up and bring him here. Okay. Great. I'll connect to the ship network and help you in any way I can. There's an elevator nearby. It should take you down to the storage area.
Gonna kill it anyway. Fuck science. 
Dominican hurts. Talk to him. Try to wake him up. Stop crying like a big, fat, ugly baby. We must leave. Dominican, no. No science. No more. Yeah, fuck science. Come with me if you want to leave it for the eggheads, or stay and wait for them. No science. Minikin hurts. You coming or not? Minikin. Minikin trusts. Minikin goes. But Minikin hurts. Sucks. 